My name is John Broad. I'm the president of Crime Stoppers of Michigan. We are here today to help the Stacy Hunt family find the murderer who killed their loved one. At 8 a.m. on Friday, May 28th of 2010, Stacy Hunt was shot and killed at his business where he served his community. The incident took place at Hunt's Collision, located in the 7,000 block of Westfield, near Livernois in West Chicago in Detroit. Mr. Hunt was a father of seven, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, and a very He was often referred to as everyone's dad. He was 75 years old. The Crime Stoppers reward has been increased to $5,000 by the family. If you have information about this crime, please do the right thing, the good thing, and make the secret call. Your call may stop this killer from murdering someone else in our community. This reward will be $6,000 if the tip that leads to an arrest is received by midnight tonight. More people than ever are stepping up and making the call. A record number of tips, over 4,000, were called in in 2010. So far this year, tips are up over 25%. Over $60,000 was paid in cash rewards in 2010. You can help to keep your neighbors safe and bring closure to the Hunts family. On behalf of Crime Stoppers, I would like to thank all of the anonymous tipsters that have helped to make our community safer. The first speaker is Sergeant Ken Gardner, Detroit Police Department Homicide. My name is Kenneth Gardner, <laughs> Sergeant of Detroit Homicide. On May 28, 2010, Mr. Hunt came to his business, opened his business to conduct uh, affairs uh, in this community. It was on the backside of the uh, establishment here that uh, Mr. Hunt was engaged by uh, at least two persons and was shot. At that time, his uh, Rolex watch was taken, so we are very aware that this was just a robbery. And uh, at that time, his Rolex watch was taken. So again, we're asking the community to get involved and solve this particular crime. Uh, we have had some uh, tips come in, and we're certainly looking for more tips to come in to help us to resolve this crime. And again, we also encourage the incarcerated community to get involved in the crime also, because it's important, even although they may be incarcerated, it is still an opportunity for them to also uh, to speak up and be paid anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Thank you. Next speaker is Annette Brewer, who is the daughter of uh, Mr. Hunt. My name is Annette Brewer. I had flown in from Pine Bluff, Arkansas to be here. I would like to ask the community to assist us in bringing justice for this crime. Um, this was, our dad was not only an entrepreneur, but he was a community person, he was a humanitarian, and he loved people, and he enjoyed enriching the community. Our father um, was uh, a wonderful person, and this crime should not go uh, without justice. We're asking the public to help us to solve this crime. The watch that was stolen it was more than just a Rolex watch. It was a, a gold and diamond encrusted Rolex watch. The face and the entire band was covered in diamonds. So this was a very unique piece of jewelry and we're asking for anyone who has information, who has seen this jewelry or has any knowledge of this crime to please come forward anonymously and assist us. We are asking for your help and we appreciate it very much. Our next speaker is Kelton Archie, who is Mr. Hunt's son. <clears throat> My name is Kelton Archie. Uh, anyone can 
come forward with anything to Crime Stoppers, even if you want to come to the shop and leave a note in the shop or anything. <laughs> The next speaker is Victoria Hunt. Victoria is a daughter. anniversary of his death is coming up real soon, to which is May the 28th. We're asking for your help. Please help us, because he was a great man. He had a good heart. He would have given them that watch. He would have given them a job. So could you please, someone come forward and give us some type of information so we can put are going to be passing these out, these flyers, all through the neighborhood and on a lot of the uh, billboards and the businesses. We're just asking for you. God bless you. And please pray for us. First question. Uh, Detective, you said that you thought that there were two, at least two, uh, suspects. Were there any witnesses that made you think, or did somebody see? Yeah, there were some activities preceding the crime that make us believe that there is at least two individuals involved. Have you patrolled any of the uh, pawn shops or anything to see if the watch has been turned in or sold? Yes, that has uh, been done. Um, right now we don't have any leads on it. We are still diligently checking those things. And there's no security cameras around here, around this business at all? Mm -hmm. We're discovered at that time. It seems like a pretty busy street. Is, is it pretty busy in the morning too? Or is there anybody else around that may have seen or heard anything? I think, uh, the weather plays an effect on just how busy it can or cannot be. Um, so that's kind of hard to say. Like it was one year ago, I guess it would depend on what the weather was a year ago. Was there anybody working in the shop when he was attacked? Yes, there were two people at the shop at the time. And did they see anything? Uh, no, they only heard the gunfire, responded, and found Mr. Hunt uh, laying by his And they didn't take No, they did not. Were they on foot? Were they in a vehicle? It's unknown because they were not seen. Again, the shot was heard and they responded. Okay. Um, and this was just a senseless tragedy and uh, it has been very traumatic for us all. And so it, it's, it wasn't just a crime against our family or against our father. This was a crime against a senior citizen and no one wants to live in fear. We shouldn't have to be worried about opening up our door and having vandals uh, approach us or uh, walking our neighborhoods and not feeling safe. And so uh, these people are still at large. We want them brought to justice. Can you say and spell your name again for me, please? My name is Annette Brewer, A-N-N-E-T-T-E-B-R-E-W-E-R. -E 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 Archie, were you, were you at the shop when this happened? No, oh, I was on my way to On your way to the shop. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much.